Hey everybody, and this is finally part five. It's been a month since part four, even. I mean, ooh, okay. But how about those two videos? Sorry, I said three, but there were two because the third one didn't come out good. Buses are dumb. Anyways, this is part five. This is the Bay Region. It's even more than what you can see. It even wraps around, so it's huge. But y yeah. I'm excited. This is definitely the biggest area that we've done. I have to say, it is bigger than Fairview. Look at Fairview over off in the distance there. This is the same size to bigger than Fairview, actually. But we're only going to cover it in one video because that's all we need. So, yeah. There are definitely more districts in this area than anywhere else. So. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna start over here. We're gonna start over here. This is Magnolia Beach. This nice little enclave. Way down. All the way in the corner. That's where we're gonna start. And I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Big residential. They have American Main Street here. Look at this. Nice businesses on the Main Street. Only local traffic. Um, yeah. Really, really good area. They have a second one, smaller. Secondary street here. Yeah, I mean, local traffic only. It's pretty nice. They have the whole beachfront set up with all the hotels, as they should be. A few condos, too. You know, some people like their privacy. But yeah. Movie theater. Cafe. All these other local businesses that go along with the tourist hotels. It's a really great area to live in. Magnolia Beach right here. We got our town hall. And yeah. Really cool. Really cool. Then, as we, we transition straight into Mount Lafayette Beach. Mount Lafayette Beach? Well, what's Mount Lafayette? Well, that would be this monstrosity here calling all of this Mount Lafayette, and that's the name of this town. It's a nice beach town, shares with Fairview Park over there, we're gonna get to that later. But anyways, I decided I'm gonna build big shopping mall over here, so I tried to give it a go. Um, some condominiums here, then I took a slew of King Leonard strip mall and sets, threw them together, I need to um, make a plate for that. But yeah, I, I guess it went well. Um, big parking lot. Dropped in O'Reilly's here. And then, um, decided to put a car dealership in. And I'm not just talking a small car dealership. This is massive. We have a small Nissan building here. We have Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram here. And Jaguar Land Rover. <laughs> Let's get it, huh? Alright. Yeah, we got big parking lots, three service centers, built in with buildings, of course, another parking lot. Yeah, I think I did good for me. And yeah, and then the rest of the town, same as Magnolia Beach, a lot of residential, some commercial along the main road here. It's a street, really. Um, wouldn't call it an avenue because of the trucking that happens. We're going to discuss more of the trucking in Fairview Park. But before we get to Fairview Park, I got a uh, golf course here. Putting field. Driving range, that's what we're looking for. Driving range here next to big hotel. Another big hotel. Short drive from the malls even. Pick up a car there too. Yeah. And then we come along here and this is where the traffic picks up. Uh, it's just right there anyways, but there's traffic. There is a lot of traffic, especially when we get to Mount Ivy Valley, which is right on the other side of the mountains there, Mount Ivy, of course. And then, this is Fairview Park. I decided to do things a little differently with the streets. How about parking roads? Hmm. And then, um, yeah, another one. Of course, I ended up the parking lot. This is the government center for the Bay Area. This is the capital town, I guess. County seat of 
the entire Bay County. So that would happen in these buildings. We also have a slew of hotels, slew of them, yes. And then big, huge port complex. That's where a lot of the traffic comes from because Fairview Park does have an industrial and services area. It's right by a school. Huh. But yeah, Fairview Park is mostly commercialized. The back area, definitely. That's, And then the front area, which was commercial. It's pretty much the opposite of Lafayette Beach and Magnolia Beach, where the front on the, the water side of the highway is residential and then the mountain area on the mountain side of the highway is commercial whereas these guys most of the commercial was on the water side and then it was nothing but residential on the mountain side so yeah i had to mix it up dropped another school and yeah we have this is nice avenue we have some commercial buildings on it most of this is all residential if this is our trucking route right here residents hate it but that's the way the ball bounces and then i drop the road so you can go all the way up to the tip well you can drive over there and just walk the rest of the way yeah nice here comes a boat a couple of them but yeah trucks drop off here that's the traffic i'm talking about and then we come into Mount Ivy Valley, which is strict commercial. All of it. Ignore the high rises, they're not supposed to be there. The game is crazy. Anyways, this is the traffic I'm talking about. Look at this. Three lanes across, nothing but traffic. And then it's an FPS drop when they draw. <laughs> Alrighty. And then as you see here. We have, this is the cut through to right over here. And then um, four to two, it goes from two lanes to four lanes because we have tons of left turn, two left turn lanes here. And then straight and right turn or just right turn only. This is the main intersection. There's no highways. Cape, Cape Cove is on the other side. Let's go take a peek. Yeah. This this is Cape Cove. Remember it from last episode? I'm always I still keep Cove in every episode, huh? Oh man. But yeah, this this is Look at this traffic coming through too. This is how you get there. This is the one and only way through. Well, for vehicle traffic anyways. Um the railroad goes into um Fairview. But we're going to get to that when we go to the Edison District, which is, in a few minutes, give me time to look at the traffic here. But this is just major traffic. And then we do have a stoplight here that is kind of needed. It's consistent. I should just say the left turn. Make this a right turn only. Yeah. You go through and maybe do that. But I'm not saving it, so it doesn't even matter. It's fine. It all gets worked out. But this is what I'm talking about with the turns. Also, what's this idiot doing? What's this idiot doing, huh? Come on. Alrighty. And then, it's really, it completely just takes the point out when you only have one lane turning. But yeah, I was using the, um, the new uh, traffic launch mod. For this, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, most of the traffic coming out this mountain, they want to go left. And um, most of these guys, they want to go straight. Let's see which straight on. So this is the new main highway that we're going to be taking. It's the coastal road. It doesn't cut through in the middle of the towns. So it goes along the coast. But we do have more central um, street main streets. And actually, as we go into, um, this is Cypress, Mount Cypress Valley and, uh, Cypress Beach. So we're going to get to them in a second, but I also did make a cut through avenue. This is the split avenue. So yeah, I, I guess we're transitioning now, huh? But before we do that, here's one more 
be ginormous intersection. This is basically the traffic break. It's a stoplight timed and thanks a lot. We do have turn lanes though it's not as heavily traveled. I mean because it, it doesn't go anywhere, it's just servicing. But yeah. There are no highways, so this is basically your highway. Um and now here's in the back, that's Mount Cypress. In the way back over there, that, that's Mount Cypress. So everybody say hello to Mount Cypress. Beautiful. Then we have this whole thing is the Mount Cypress Valley. And then we have Cypress Beach right here. Look at this. Beautiful beach with a hotel on it. A lot of hotels, a lot of hotels. Look at them all. Big hotels, big hotels. We have our Central Boulevard here. Double F turn lanes. And then this is our main street that chops the area in half. Big city park here. Look at all these trees. Some big trees. Big cypress trees. Oh yeah. Got all them cypress knees. Look at that. Had to throw some in there. Big superstore that's kind of far back. And then a whole lot of hotel complexes in the front. Mostly residential area. That's where all of these people live. But we do need big residential for um, the Edison district over here. This is definitely the biggest district. And it is purely industrial, commercial. Look at this traffic output. Note there is no bus line or any of that for this area because it was a rush job. Thank you very much. So yeah, everybody needs a vehicle or they got a carpool. I think I should put a bus line in. How would that affect it? But yeah. I'd need I'd need a whole bunch of bus lines actually because you'd need a central bus line. Ugh. Because you need a central bus line and then you need feeder bus lines on all of these so called main streets. So yeah. But the main bus line would be pure profit. And then all these feudal ones would actually be taking a hit, so... Uh. Also dropped a couple of ports. Looking good there. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know you're seeing the railroad tracks on that large port over here, but, um... We're gonna get... That, that's gonna look much better in C-City next series. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. It's gonna be good. See, city's coming out good. I, I did the whole industrial area. It looks great. Um, but yeah. This, I dropped the um, four-lane main feeder highway in. It's getting traffic, which is good. Um, and then, yeah. It's where all of the traffic hits, and everybody's trying to get to the main boulevard here, because... Is this a stoplight? No. Okay. Everybody's just taking their time. Got it. Yeah, cars are ridiculous. Anyways, but this is Edison District. Huge, huh? It keeps going. It keeps going. Okay, this is the end of it right around here. But yeah, railroad track doesn't make the mark of it. Speaking of the railroad tracks, I dropped a train avenue here. Look at this. Maybe we can see a train. I don't know. I doubt it, though. Oh, look. There's a train in the middle of the road. We're actually next video. Next video, well, next video, video of Caldera. We're gonna take a train through here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. The train keeps going. It goes all the way up, up and over. We're gonna get to that area. And then these are some industrial loading houses that the railroad owns. And that's why nobody else can build because they hog it. Um, they actually don't operate new trains to put up a well. But yeah, th this is your cut street basically. It has the trains in the middle of it. A whole lot of industrial, a whole lot of it. This is where I got my um, factories place, and so it's half and half the vanilla and asset workshop, so yeah. And this is, it. this is highly traveled by passenger area, so yeah. Speaking of this area, Alicia Beach and Briarwood Hills.
speaking of this area, this is the Mount Appalachia Beach. Huge school in the background. A um, whole lot of businesses up front. Resort complex right here. Ooh, look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, more hotels and resort. We're getting into Broward Hills there, so we're going to hold off. Keep going that way. Um, yeah, it's, it's mostly commercialized over on this side. Then we have, this is the town hall, city hall, whatever. Okay. Parking garages. Some big ones here. Big train station. I hate this intersection. Uh, and then, our main through street. Yeah, it's not working out too well, is it? Yeah, oh well. Um, this area is still in development. Look, they're building a house. And this is our high school. Baseball stadium's off by a bit. Yeah, this is our main schooling area. Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, anyways, that, that's how this goes. It was a rush job. Shh. Anyway, so yeah, this is um, Mount Appalachia Valley. It's still in development. These are all new, new areas. You're going to see a lot of that in uh, Briarwood Hills. This is new. It is expanding area. Because Edison District still hiring people. That'd be this area over here. Speaking of which, Mount Appalachia. That's this big guy right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's Sands Beach and Hickory Beach. This is the first area I made. And, um, yeah. And then Briarwood Hills, that'd be the little range all over here. And, yeah. That, this is... Okay, we gotta cover this still. Um... But they have uh, um, pretty much scattered out mall type area. Uh, not really. We have movie theater. Um, then a whole lot of hotels, condominiums. Uh, right up in here for the beach. Ooh, look at that view right there. It's really good when they don't have any shops. And then we have big Merca Mart. And here's the mall. Um, we have mini Target, strip mall here, big parking lot. And then this is our like condos. We have some hotels here, other businesses. Drop some apartments. And yeah, some big development. Still working on it, man. Dropped another hotel for the cheapos. And then I got um, a bike trail up in here. This area features a bike trail. It goes all the way to the end. Comes up. And then heads back. So th this is your bikers resort, really. And then we have another community back here, actually. So, yeah. It's real in development. And I think this is going to be the sweetest town. I, I do. And... Yeah, it's even better than over here. But yeah, this is the Bay Area. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this huge area. And then the landscape just keeps going. I mean, look at this. All of this untouched natural park area. And look at the little island over here. I mean, really cool. I made this... Um, a state park type place. Pretty cool rock. Just comes up and see where it cut and then civil civilization cut through it. Um, some more coasts on the edge of the map. And then this huge mountain over here. And the beachway. It's beachway, guys. Look at that featured in part three if you didn't watch it and yeah so this is this is caldera oh look at that sunset hold on 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, right there. Nifty. Um, sun's setting anyways, yeah. These guys, afternoon is darkness for them. It's me and a witch. Sun setting on Caldera. And I think we gotta call it now. I mean, got some cinematics. Two more videos coming up of just cinematics. So yeah, I like this video actually. We're gonna end here. Look at this. It's pretty cool. So I want to thank y'all for watching this video and for watching the series. It was a real pleasure. I had fun making this thing. It took a lot out from um, what's going on over the summer. So I want to thank y'all for watching. This is really cool. I'm trying to get my channel started. So yeah, peace out.